Thank you, everybody. I, you, you know, I don't want to. I don't want to leave you with, with the the inference that I was Ryan Dahl's boss in any way. Um, so Ryan Dahl reported to me the way the storm system reports to the weatherman. Um, I could tell you when Hurricane Dahl was going to come ashore and make landfall, but not much more than that. Um, so I'm Brian Cantor, I'm the CTO of Join. Um, I want to actually, in in our very brief time here, give you a little bit of the the past, present, and future of Node.js. Been very important to us at Join. Uh, in terms of Join, Join actually did exist before Node.js. Um, if you are in the Node community, you might you know of Joint. You may not know that we, we pre-exist Node for sure. Founded in 2004, actually to host uh, Rails uh, apps back in the day to host next generation apps. And very quickly, Joint expanded its scope. It expanded its appetite beyond simply hosting Rails app Rails apps to looking at next generation computing. This is cloud before it was cloud. What do I mean by this? Elastic, multi-tenant, secure that you can actually run in production and service oriented. Importantly. Um, what would ultimately become microservice oriented, right? These are service oriented architectures. And Joint's core belief was that the novel computation, cloud computing, required new abstractions. We had to fundamentally rethink this. And at the core of that was OS based virtualization. OS based virtualization, the idea that you have one operating system kernel and you've got virtual OS environments. It's lightweight, they're nimble. You might know them today as containers. These are containers before you knew of containers, containers before Docker. OS based virtualization was at the core of Joint. Uh, we, uh, huge adopters of FreeBSD jails, and then later when, when OpenSolaris was open sourced, Zones, a huge adopter of OpenSolaris. Then of course it became reproprietorized, like that's a word? Yes, it's a word, meet Ellison, world's largest asshole. Um, Larry Ellison reproprietorized the operating system, but we, we the fork has survived as SmartOS and we exist to this day. So in, uh, in 2009 actually, we went up stack and explored server-side JavaScript with a, a platform which, as they say, you haven't heard of for a reason, called Smart Platform. It's this terrible Frankenstein spider monkey plus Perl. Um, we love JavaScript, but we knew there had to be a better way. And enter in, in two, November 2009, Ryan Dahl. If you haven't seen this presentation, I really recommend you go see it. This is an amazing moment in the history of computation in that you have a really a total amateur, nearly broke. I mean, you're like, boy, he looks a little hard on his luck. He was hard on his luck. He was out of money, had begged for a slot at JSConfEU in 2009. And at this moment, when he demonstrates an IRC server at minute 3204, Node.js is born. And people realize, wow, that was only a couple hundred lines of JavaScript to write an actual real no, a real service that you could actually use. And this was the birth of Node. We and a lot of other people were very excited about this. And we, we saw that this was a perfect fit for what we wanted to do. Why? Because it was pure asynchrony. It was the abstractions that God intended, namely the Unix abstractions, plus JavaScript, running on an actual modern VM, V8. Yes, you can have it all. And afterwards, we were very excited about, about getting involved with this new project. Ryan, at the end of that talk, says, by the way, I have no money. Um, so lots of folks say, oh, you can come work for us and you can go work for Node in like your 20% time. And actually it was only Joint that said, actually, why don't you come work for us and work on Node full time and have it be open source. And only Joint gave them that offer. It came to Joint, which was great. Um, at the, the November 2010, we became the corporate steward of Node.js, which we're very excited about. And we deployed Node into production. Zero two for the win. Um, we, we deployed Node into production, very early adopter, production adopter of, of, of Node. Uh, and all of what we did with Node really has to do around that production deployment. We developed in situ production and instrumentation via Detroit support. We developed flame graphs. You might have seen those in an earlier presentation. Brendan Gregg at Joint at the time developed frame, flame graphs, developed unbelievable post-mortem debuggability support. To this day, one of the reasons we continue to deploy Node is because it is more debuggable in production than any other platform we have out there except for C, which is amazing. People don't realize that, that how debuggable Node is, it's because of this incredible work that Dave Pacheco and others at Joint did. We developed modules that we continue to use to this day, Bunyan, Rustify, VAsync, and the list goes on. So for Node, it's all been about, about production use, um, but all, and it's at the core of Smart Data Center and Manta, two distributed systems that we developed, but we are not the only use case, right? There are other use cases, um, and it was pretty clear to us that we needed to accommodate other use cases. We put together a Node.js advisory board in 2014, and it, it became clear that like actually Node needs to go to a foundation. We transitioned to the Node Foundation in 2015. That's been terrific, um, and Node is very much in our bloodstream. We still use Node, we love Node, but actually containers are our marrow. Containers are what we are actually about. They've been popularized with the rise of Docker, but containers are what the, the, the organizing principle of Joint. We developed something called Triton, which allows you to deploy containers directly on the metal. Um, with Triton, you don't have actual VMs. You run your containers directly on the metal. You don't manage VMs. So for us, th th this has been actually, a, th to be able to bring containers to a much broader audience uh, has been terrific, and Node, of course, is a great, a great fit for that. In terms of the future for us with respect to Node, we're still involved in the Node.js Foundation. 
and we love Node. Um, you, you may have seen our Node.js Innovator program offering you know, lots of hosting and so on. Bithound is an example of that. Um, we're, and we're, we're continuing to be very active in the Node.js Foundation, and then especially in the Cloud Native Computing Foundation. The CNCF, we think, helps guide the future of, of Node and containers. These are a great fit for one another, and we still believe that Triton is the best place to run Node.js. We look forward to many more years of Node.js. Only 18 seconds over. Thank you very much. Thank <laughs> you.